Hey everyone, Scrapper Brad here. So you can see that I have the inside of a ceiling fan motor. Nice Junk recently made a, a great video on taking apart a ceiling fan, and it made me want to make a video on that too. But rather than breaking down the whole ceiling fan, I'm just going to work on this motor here. Now there are several ways to take out the copper in here, but I wanted to show you the way that I do it. Typically all I do is I take a, a pair of side cutters, or wire snips like this, I make some cuts just like that. Then I turn it over and I just pull out the copper just like that. Now there are, like a, as I mentioned, certainly other ways to pull out copper, but I find this is an easy way, and it doesn't take very long, especially if you have a sharp pair of side cutters, which mine are, are not. But I'm going to go ahead and take all this copper out, I'm going to weigh it, and see how much we get. Now let's turn it over and pull the copper out. So we've got this first row of copper out. We do have the second row, and I'll go ahead and take that out off camera. All right, we've got all the copper from the motor taken out here. Now let's go ahead and weigh it. First, we'll tear out the container. Add the copper. That's 8.9 ounces, or nine ounces. Currently at the scrapyard I go to, number two copper, such as this is, is going for $3.05 a pound. So in US dollars, that gives us about $1.70. The steel itself weighs just under three pounds, and I get about three and a half cents for steel. Now I know a lot of scrapyards you could throw this in as prepared steel, but my scrapyard doesn't really make that distinguishment. At any rate, that's about 10 cents for this steel, which brings our total to $1.80. Now that same scrapyard, I could also sell it just as a motor in and of itself and get 21 cents a pound. That totals 75 cents roughly for this motor. And so for a profit, we made roughly $1.05. So that's over a 100% return. So percentage-wise, that's really good. Actual dollar amount though, not as much. Now, if you're a full-time scrapper, it may not be worth it to take the copper out of these motors. But again, if you're a full-time scrapper, you probably have faster ways of doing it. Let me know what you think in the comments. In the meantime, if you made it this far in the video, as always, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.